This segment is sponsored in part by United Healthcare. Healthcare is so much more than just going to see the doctor. 80% of what influences a person's health has to do with their social environment, where they're born, where they live, learn, and play. And now there's an increased focus in addressing these social determinants of health so that we can help people stay out of the doctor's office. Joining me now is Michael McGuire, the CEO for United Healthcare of New York. Hello, Michael. Thank you so much for joining us. Hello, pleasure to be here. I know we have a lot of stuff to get to, but we'll we'll start right at the beginning because United Healthcare has awarded over eleven million dollars in empowering health grants, and several several of them are right here in New York. Can you explain what those are? Sure, and I appreciate you saying that healthcare is is so important because it really is, and there's a lot to healthcare. So, back in 2018, United began the empowering health commitment that we were looking to. Um, looking to expand the access to health care and looking at those social determinants of health that really um, put a blocker up for folks to get good health care, particularly in underserved communities. Uh, recently, we awarded for, to 18 states and $11 million, and $1 million of that was right here in New York. Why is this grant program so important for New Yorkers? Because what we recognize is that it's not just about what happens in the doctor's office. Really, your health care involves a lot of different things, like those social determinants of health, like making sure you've got access to good food, you've got um, access to good housing. We look at behavioral health issues. And locally, we want to make sure that we do that with folks so they can get, have good health. So we look at things like health promotion as well as health literacy. Right. It, it is so important because we often do think, my health is only important when I'm sick, but I think all those factors that you just mentioned, where we live, how we play, or do we have access to clean water and healthy food, those are all really important and really crucial to what you're doing. So I wonder if you wouldn't mind telling us how you select those who will get these empowering health grants. Sure. So we look at all those non-medical uh, things um, like housing, like you said, and transportation and financial means to meet your basic daily needs. And then we look for local organizations that are serving those underserved communities today and we partner with them in things like housing, things like food delivery, food banks, uh, making sure that we try to remove some of those disparities in health. What other types of commitments have you made to the community? So United Healthcare's foundation foundation works with desert, diverse scholar program, um, looking to create more relevant and diverse health workforce, particularly in those underserved communities, you know, by increasing primary care physicians um, to help meet the needs of today and help meet the future needs. I love it. So if viewers would like more information on uh, the Empowering Health Grants, where should they go? They should go to uh, uhc.com, outlined on there are all the different things that we do, both nationally and locally. Michael McGuire, please stay healthy. All this talk about <laughs> health, I'm going to drink some water and go for a run. There you go. Well, you, you do the same and a pleasure today. Thank you very much. Really appreciate it. Absolutely. Thanks again and for your company, uh, for everything that your company does for the betterment of our health. We're all in this together. Thank you very much.